From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Agron. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Families voluntarily evacuating tonight after this depression opened up on Pearl Drive in Newport Ritchie. We're told that hole is 15 feet wide, 15 feet deep, and the home is in the backyard of two mobile homes in the Caribbean estates. Officials tonight are watching this situation very closely because it is expected to rain in that area. Tonight, a father is dead, his two little boys recovering after police say someone deliberately ran them down while they were riding their bikes in New Tampa. That father, Pedro Agraberry, died. Eight-year-old Lucas is out of the hospital while the three-year-old Bennett is still in the hospital, listed in fair condition tonight. Authorities tonight identifying the man who they say instantly died from a lightning strike on Siesta Key Beach. James Barton of Sefner, he was on a private part of the beach when lightning hit. Lifeguards say that he most likely did not hear the warnings to clear the beach because he was about a mile away from the nearest lifeguard stand. In other news tonight, Fish and Wildlife officers now looking for the people who destroyed five sea turtle nests in Sarasota County. FWC tells us someone used a golf cart or an ATV to drive over those nests. And it's now going to be even easier for you to get some of to get to uh, Tampa International Airport. The Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority now launching the first public bus service from Pinellas County to TIA. It's called Airport Express. Here's Dennis with a look at your forecast. Dennis. Hey, doing everybody still looking at some scattered showers through the overnight hours. I think everything begins to wind down by about 11 o'clock and then we quiet down for the rest of the overnight. Tuesday morning should be quiet, should be dry for the most part. I do think a change in our pattern, though, increases rain chances, not just by the middle of the week for those interior counties, but into the weekend as well. Dennis, thank you. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.